Oh man, we just got some baby chicks at the post office. Every time we have chickens, this is the third time we ordered chickens, ordered meat birds through the post office. And the place we ordered them from never really tell us what exact day we're getting them. They give us a date range. And then next thing you know, I'm getting a call from the post office saying, come get your baby chicks. <laughs> So it's kind of a like a rush rush day for us because we're not knowing when exactly they're coming. So they just call me a little while ago and say come pick up your chickens and <laughs> yeah, stop what you're doing and go get them because they need food and water. We have an extra feed bag that didn't fit in our feed barrels out there, so I had it in my truck. And I'm gonna use this bag first to feed the chickens. Can I do one? When you buy chicks through the mail, they always give you a few extra. So in this case, we actually went in halves with another family. The same family that we went in halves for our feed is they bought 30 birds, we bought 30 birds. Each of us ended up with about 32 birds. And they give you extra because there's a slight chance that maybe one or two chickens may die during transit. But today there was no chicks that died, so which is a good, which is really good. These baby chicks were hatched Wednesday morning and they arrived the next day on Thursday in the mail. They came from Pennsylvania and baby chicks that arrive in the mail, they're good for 72 hours after they're hatched. So that's why they're packaged and shipped out right away. So that's why it's crucial to pick them up right away because I'm sure they're hungry and thirsty. We forgot to add in the water every time for the baby chicks. And as they're getting older, apple cider vinegar. So we usually put about a cap full of apple cider vinegar in their water. In this case, this is our homemade apple cider vinegar. We add the apple cider vinegar to boost their immune system, get it going to keep them more healthy. chickens have not been vaccinated we chose not to vaccinate them that's also why the apple cider vinegar trying to raise these birds as natural as possible with good old-fashioned sunlight grass and apple cider vinegar we add some grass clippings in there just to kind of get them familiar with grass when they actually graduate to the chicken tractor I'm not quite sure yet when we will 
put them in the chicken tractor full time. It kind of depends on the weather. So they might be in here for about three weeks. But we're gonna fill it out and see how, how the weather is and see how if they uh, th how their feathers are because really you're not putting them, putting them out until like they get some of their real feathers that grow in. But they're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty alive, which is a good sign. <laughs> they're not lethargic or anything. They look excited. But we're gonna let these guys be. And when the chickens come in, that means that means spring has started. I would put the baby chicks in the greenhouse, but I still also think they need a heat lamp. But I don't have uh, electricity out here, so they're gonna have to be in the, the little playhouse. 